Well, hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. Today, we are on our way shopping. I'm looking for furniture and home decor for a budget-friendly bedroom makeover. And when I'm decorating on a budget, you guys know there will be thrifting involved. So, my first stop will be at the ReStore. Now, some of you may know it as Habitat for Humanity ReStore. And so they sell new and used furniture, appliances, home decor, and anything home improvement. And for this makeover, I will be looking for things like um, headboards, um, or just one. I need a headboard, a dresser, a pair of lamps, and some home decor. I will also be needing bedding, but for the bedding, we're going to go over to Target after this store and then we'll head over to Goodwill for some accessories and then after each store I'll share what I picked up now like I said before they do have new and used furniture and so when it comes to the used furniture just like anywhere else you really have to look carefully at the furniture to see um, that it's in good condition this was a beautiful couch but it did have um, some stains on it and so you really have to be careful unless you know how to get the stains out now this was a beautiful dresser and it had matching nightstands but it was a little pricey not to mention it was sold but it was a little out of our price range like i said this is a budget friendly uh, makeover now these nightstands were a good price and i have to say i regret not buying them beautiful buffet and guys when you see these older pieces just envision them in different colors. They really make a big difference. And see something like that for $400? No. That's when you see a piece in Goodwill for $29. That piece looks really good. Okay, this bed was awesome. But it was sold as well. And um, yeah, if it wasn't so, that would have been something that I would have liked to have taken home. Even though my husband said we didn't need it. Look how beautiful that is. And that is good furniture, you guys. Now these were some vessel sinks in a stone, which I do need and was interested, but I didn't pick them up that day. Once again, beautiful chairs. And this is the same as I had mentioned before, when you go to Goodwill, try and find a uh, thrift store in a very high-end location where you know the donations that come in will be fairly nice. Now they had a few accessories here, but like I said before, we're going to go to Goodwill to check out their accessories because I seem to have better luck at Goodwill. So this was a nice dresser and the price was definitely good at $25 so that is something that I was thinking about but I continued to walk around this piece size wise was great it had a lot of storage but it had some damage on the front of one of the dressers uh, one of the drawers and so I didn't really want to deal with that even though I thought the hardware was really nice but I passed on this piece And the fact that they had the glass top on it, it was well worth $45. Just the glass alone.
but if you feel that you can deal with a piece like that it would have been a great piece this they said was an antique um, at $150 but I passed now these pieces coming up were brand new and they were well overpriced they ranged from four to seven fifty and of course I passed on those and so what I did get was this headboard I did find a headboard and um, I found um, a bed frame as well as a pair of lamps and I did pick up the dresser and I even got it for ten dollars instead of twenty five all right so let's head over to Target so here at Target I'm gonna look for the bedding of course I always stop at Casa Luna but like I said before this is a budget-friendly um, project and so Casa Luna can be a little pricey but I always like to look and see what they have um, that may be new with their colors and I see they have new colors which were very pretty I also came over here to look just for inspiration I didn't really need anything from this area but I do like to look at the warm colors for fall because that's how we're going to um, those are the colors that we will be using for this project now if you saw my last short you know that I picked up one of these candles and the fragrance that I picked up was autumn cider which was so good it smelled so delicious you guys and so I was inspired by the color of this little small vase I didn't pick it up but I brought it over to the paint section to try and find paint to match because we may need to paint some of the accessories that we find in Goodwill all right so let's go in and see what we find now that was a beautiful lamp but it did have a crack in it and so guys these are some of the pieces that I did pick up from Goodwill that day and some of them may need a little makeover but um, we will have to see how everything turns out. Now that bowl is for me, <laughs> not the makeover. All right guys, so I have a few packages here that I'm going to be opening for my bedroom makeover. Alright guys, so thanks so much for joining me today and please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next upcoming videos, especially the reveal for this makeover bedroom. And I hope to share it with you sometime this weekend. Now stay until the end because you will see the inspiration room if you're interested and you'll see how the room looks today and then you'll see a little bit of my inspiration um, board so to speak as to how I want the room to look. And then when you come back you'll get to see how everything turned out. Wish me luck! <laughs>